hello students in our early lecture we studied the words and in our classroom lecture we also studied the words now it is not too much difficult how the phrases are formed with the words that we have seen we have closed class words as well as we have open class words which play uh, out of them such as the words like determiners play a very important role in the noun phrases so we have classes of phrases we have six classes of the phrases that we are going to study the phrases are six types of phrases which includes noun phrases adjective phrases adverb phrases these three phrases may be categorized in in one or uh, class because they have the same basic structure means they have the structure like head noun phrase functions as head and modifier we have modifier so head modifier and head head and modifier modifier head modifier 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 head head modifier 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 head modifier so like this we may have such a combination of such as uh, say complexity of phrases of course we have studied some modifiers are compulsory but and of course we have seen we cannot delete the head word the optional parts that we can remove suppose modifier we can remove but head cannot be so determiner can be removed from the phrases because we get the head as noun we showed that if the if the modifier is in front of the noun it is called as pre modifier and if the modifier is after the noun we have post modifier so we have three types of phrases that we have categorized them next two phrases that we have to see is prepositional phrase and genitive phrase preposition phrase begins with preposition and genitive phrase with apostrophe yes and then we have the final verb phrase which is peculiar because it combines a different structure and having such a pivotal role in the clause so we have as per the function of the classes we have the combination of these phrases in the clauses as one of the way which we can see is that of a, there is a main phrase which is a, a main part or direct constituent part of clause please listen carefully main phrase is main part in the clause and in that phrase there may be a complex phrase or subordinate phrase subordinate phrase is one that is a part of another phrase see so subordinate phrase is subordinated so when we think the subordinate phrase it is also a part of main phrase it is subordinate means it can be removed it is a uh, secondary in plus so the bride of her apparent 
so here the noun phrase the bride is the main phrase of the hair apparent of the hair apparent is a preposition phrase because it begins with of so like this we have such a combination of uh, phrases and that makes this phrase much more longer with an addition of the prepositional phrases just like main clause and subordinate clause we have main phrase and subordinate phrase now coming on to the first type of phrase that we just need to concentrate on is that of noun phrase like words and phrases can be classified by their external function and their internal form see form means how the unit is made of by smaller constituents konte elements ni ti phrase tayar zaleli ahe tela form asu manhaycho कारण फ्रेज मध्य अपन बगित का हेड आ मॉडिफायर्स आता प्री मॉडिफायर हे सिंगल वर्ड्स आता बी पोस्ट मॉडिफायर्स हे बेसिकली कदाचित फ्रेजेस आती हाँ क्लॉजेस आते हैं यापैकी का जे कॉम्प्लेक्स आत मे पोस्ट मॉडिफायर्स ये कॉम्प्लेक्स आता प्री मॉडिफायर सिंगल वर्ड्स आता this is a very uh, beautiful and interesting thing that we just need to think up now noun phrase we have to study the function structure of the phrases see and as we have studied the words we just need to go through them noun phrase is rather a bigger one see the phrase functions in the higher unit that is clause and that is we just need to think of see words out of words phrases are formed from phrases clauses are formed the functional labels of the clauses are s o c s p o c a subject predicate object complement and adverbials so these are see the functional labels of the clauses now in function label we have to think in the clause so noun phrase functions as subject the house is a noun phrase see the label and p as a predicate quite happy is a complement if you can see we have bought the house we the subject have bought predicate the house is an object this must be the house here the house is a complement in the above sentence in 17 number the house is an object means the same noun phrase because house is a noun the is a determiner so the noun phrase functions as subject 16 number noun phrase function as object 17 number and this must be the house it is to complete the sentence noun phrase is used so it is complement there are also some kinds of noun phrases that are related to the concept of time can act as adverbials it may be plus it may be manner or anything like that see we walk 5 miles last week or we trekked the highest peak see 
last week see so we have five miles walk five miles is also a noun phrase miles is a noun five is a enumerator last is also an enumerator noun phrase last week week is a noun phrase so it is functioning as the adverbials of time so the functional label that is given above is is adverbial see 19 number sentence then we have a uh, subordinate noun phrase act as modifiers in other noun phrase my friend the professional driver driver sorry buffy the vampire slayer here the noun phrase are functioning in the noun phrase as modifiers so my friend is also a noun phrase the professional driver which is after the my friend is also a noun phrase but it is a it is of course modifier buffy is a noun so this is basically a noun phrase the vampire slayer is also a noun phrase and it is post modifier this type of construction is called as apposition apposition so students like this we have to just think and understand i would suggest you to listen and as well as practice while this video lecture is being played next is the structure see the structure of noun phrase there is a different variety of see, because it's a combination of so many elements that occurs in the pre modifier position and there are also post modifications too so the head of a noun phrase can be a noun the doll dear margaret etc so doll margaret both are nouns so are heads it may be pronoun noun phrase may consist of pronoun too so it herself they are pronoun but they may be pronoun means there is a noun pro noun noun is a noun because it is used for noun see an adjective an enumerator or genitive phrase we have this type of phrase an adjective the absurd enumerator all 15 genitive johnsons so like this there is this type of things that we see here see here is an also the combination of this if you offer them three types of ice cream the greedy will take all three all three or the greedy see this um, less possibility that we see but in such cases usually noun is semantically understood to be the head see because it is associated with the rest of the pronouns that is used now there are uh, pre modifiers of a noun phrase je aplela samjhun kya wala gain ka noun phrase cha pre modifier kay kay asu shaktat ja mule noun phrase cha structure tayar huin this morning morning is a noun but this is a determiner what a girl some water these are modifiers that we see what and o are modifier enumerators means before noun or in a noun phrase enumerators are used as pre modifier two eggs third man my last throw 
adjectives are also used before now red shoes older children the strangest coincidence so adjectives are be used before the noun nouns nouns are also used the garden fence the gold ring gold and garden london pubs london are modified because fence is noun ring is also noun pubs is also noun but before that we have another use of noun so like this we have pre modifiers sometimes genitive phrases may occur in noun phrase someone else's problem genus pet marmoset add was quite a noise such a like pre modifiers may occur in front of a noun that is what we have this awfully bad weather awfully bad is an adjective phrase that occurs before the noun and that is what weather is a noun this phrase is awfully bad weather is a noun phrase pre modified by adjective phrases other around the clock prepositional phrase around the clock is a prepositional phrase around the clock service this is noun phrase but around the clock is a prepositional phrase it's a subordinate phrase that we see so we have miscellaneous type of pre modifiers that we see in this uh, so called phrases then uh, there is also one of the possibility that uh, that we can indicate some semantic distinctions that we needs to be made see to cut away see a still cutting blade this is a noun phrase still cutting blade a still cutting blade see this is a blade cutting still a cutting blade made of straw a still cutting blade so there is semantically associated meaning that we need to think when we have this pre modifiers of the noun phrase can be post modifiers now we have to go through so noun phrase may be post modified by prepositional phrase the best day is a noun phrase of my life is a subordinate phrase of my life begins with of so it is a prepositional phrase see here the example that is given here see the best here see then we have relative clause see relative clause clause means square bracket a quality that i admire that i admire is a relative clause a quality is a noun phrase but this is a clause and that clause because it has subject and predicate admire is a predicate i is a subject and that is a relative say pronoun so like this we have to see and understand this type of things now there are other um, modifiers including adverbs the girl upstairs see the girl upstairs here upstairs is a plus adverb or plus see we have the girl upstairs adjective something nasty see nasty is a modifier and it's a also an adjective there is a noun phrase in opposition a bandicoot a tiny marsupial noun phrase is in the uh, in the phrases see like this there are various kinds of modifiers such as noun phrase can reach the things in such a way there are pre modifications that we see and that we just need to 
go through absolutely the last two unsold ripe juice peaches here uh, pre modifications are uh, there that we see post modification there is a principle because there is no length uh, of noun phrase no limit to the length because the subordinate phrase by prepositional phrase as post modifier is the most common the girl by the table with curved legs so here the girl is a noun phrase by the table is a preposition phrase subordinate phrase also preposition phrase with the curved legs it is also a subordinate phrase so in this phrase we have only a noun phrase but it is post modified by prepositional phrases because prepositional phrases occurs after the girl the girl okay like this we have this type of things there are pronouns and determiners they are also close class words in the noun phrase such a similar division sub divisions that we form pronouns functions as head so personal pronouns are there if they are used because they are used for nouns so basically they are nouns and that is what they may be labeled as head so these pronouns are personal pronouns like this possessive pronouns my yours your, uh, ours yours his hers theirs demonstrative pronouns are also used these that these those quantifier also used as head see so all is also a noun if it is same it is head some any none one another each both he kaji purvak lakshat thevaycha hai compound hai dogancha compound every and body person everybody some and body person somebody any any body person anybody like this combination of two is compound gradable hai many much more most few fewer fewest la, little less least dubbish pronouns these are also there who whom whose what which whatever he pronouns it they stands for another we have determiners the determiners function as modifiers articles like this the a n possessive determiners my our your his hers is there demonstrative determiners that we will also see this that these those so in such a way they may be confused with pronouns but they need to be understood if they are to be understood in a proper way now quantifier determiners are also there see general determiners all some gradable much more means we see there are grades wh determiners are also there what which whose whatever whichever see the demonstratives and gradable quantifiers are the same for both nouns and pronouns there are other classes are also very similar that personal pronouns are always pronouns and articles are always determiners so like here we see possessive pronouns and possessive determiner my is possessive pronoun my is possessive determiner ours possessive yes yours yes is there her hers so here we have the determining means fix karnaro determine nishchit karnaro ani possession mhanje malki sangnare ase aplyala pronouns pahayla milta ani mhanun possessive pronouns ahet they can stand alone as head of a noun phrase tela apan head he label deu shakto je possessive pronouns ahet yanna apan apan label deu shakto ani possessive determiners ahet te modifier astil karan tyanantar aplyala my house 
आवर बुक माय पेन लाइक दिस म्हणून मायची भूमिका इथं मॉडिफायरची असेल पण पजेसिव्ह प्रोनाऊनला मात्र हेड असेल दिस इज माय हाऊस सो माय इज अ मॉडिफायर ओके दिस हाऊस इज माईन सो माईन इज अ नाव लाईक दस दोज आर युअर बुक्स सो युअर इज डिटरमाइन सी अँड दोज बुक्स आर योस सो योस इज अ नाऊन फ्रेज अँड योस इज अ प्रनाऊन बट इट इज हेड सी इन ट्वेंटी एट से द एक्झाम्पल लाईक दस वी हॅव द कॉम्बिनेशन दॅट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन द चार्ट फॉर्म नाव वी हॅव दीज टाईप्स ऑफ थिंग्स वी हॅव टू जस्ट थिंक अबाउट सो बी केअरफुल इन रिडिंग अँड फॉलो द बुक अँड टेक डाऊन द नोट्स अँड डू प्रॅक्टिस द लेबलिंग ऑफ दिस फ्रेजेस सो दॅट यू कॅन अंडरस्टँड इन अ बेटर वे द नेक्स्ट फ्रेज वी विल स्टडी इन नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ लेक्चर थँक्यू